Knife Dope. More Dope. Come and get your figs. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife Dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Bringing you a little bit of this uh, budget dope tonight, courtesy of the Amazon gods. That's right. There are, um, there's tons of goddamn dope on Amazon. You can fuck around and get lost just uh, surfing the web. And I did a couple of weeks back, as a matter of fact. I think, as a matter of fact, full disclosure, I believe um, I purchased this goddamn thing in uh, sometime in June. I think maybe around Father's Day, something like that. But this was coming on over from China, a.k.a. China. So it took a while, you know, but it's fresh off the press, goddammit. So we're about to dive into it. And depending on how this video goes, I might even have a little bit of more dope for you. A little bit of premium dope. But we're about to find out. So uh, coming in hot tonight with the unboxing knife is going to be this one. Uh, this is the Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger. As a matter of fact, this is the one that I just replaced that um, lock bar insert, and it worked fantastically. We have no more, no more lockup failure, locking up solid, locking up tighter than frog's ass. Uh, but enough of that. Let's get to the dope. But first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. God damn it, it does help the channel. It does trick that algorithm. And it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that. God damn, this is a slicey hoe. I love that fucking gunslinger. I'm interested to see what the next uh, locking knife they're going to release is. But I'll be there for it. Promise you that. Okay, people. This is the first for me. This is a, uh, coming from a company. I think we pronounce this Remit. 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 Maybe it's Remit, god damn it. I don't know. Um... This, this, this company as a whole is new to me. And I'm really, you know, I, I can appreciate some budget knives, but that's not my strong point. It's not my strong suit. Uh, but this one was, was very interesting. Uh, I think they call this one the rhinoceros. Yep, I remember now. Uh, this one came in at about 55 bucks. But then I had to pay that, uh, that shipping because I don't have Amazon Prime. And I ended up paying, I think, 61 on upon checkout. That was to my door. And yeah, waited all this goddamn time for it. I think that when I ordered this one, the, the version that I ordered, they didn't have any more in, in, in the USA building, or rather the USA warehouses. So I had to wait. Uh, but last thing before we dive into this, I'll tell you where you don't gotta wait. Head on over to DNK Knives. They got all the dope you need, whether foreign or domestic, all in here ready to ship. And the best thing about it is right now, they have started to take sezzle. Go ahead and burn it up, goddammit. But whatever you do, be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE for 10% off your purchase. And then once you get that knife, you gotta mod it. Trick it out. Make it your own. Head on over to the GOAT, goddammit. Original GOAT. Treat yourself. I would. Just be sure to use code FUCKER for 15% off. Okay, people. The shilling is complete. Let's get to the dope. Okay, so they're giving us a nice premium quality soldier wreck. I don't know how premium quality it is. It feels kind of thin, but you can never have enough of those. And we got a tool and kind of a, uh, this feels more of a, of a cheap, um, cheap taco pouch. But what do we expect? It's 55 goddamn bucks. Now, like I mentioned, this one was interesting and we're going to go over it here in a second. But right out the gate, this is how it looks. Now, when I did order this, I thought it was a black wash finish, but it, I think that might be like a uh, a PVD or DLC or something. Uh, but let's look at it now up close and personal. We've got uh, closed length coming in at 4.17 inches. All right, not bad. Uh, overall length came in at 7.32. Blade length coming in at 3.15. Blade stock is coming in at 12 hundredths of an inch. Rock and Sandvik 14C 28N blade steel. Let me wipe this hoe down right quick. 
You know, whenever they send it across the pond, they fucking lube it up. Lube it, lube it, lube it, goddammit. Okay. Um, back to the steel, Sandvik uh, 14C28N. We've got this uh, drop point configuration. And the uh, knife is deployed. You have multiple deployments. We have the uh, front flipper as well as your thumb studs. Now, like I mentioned that there was something special or rather unique about this knife. This is a, uh, a button lock, which we've all come to either love or hate at this point. But this is a button lock that has actually has a detent ball in it. It's got stainless steel liners, and on one of those liners, um, there's actually a detent ball. Hence why when it's in the closed position, if you mash that button, it's not going to release the knife. Uh, very similar to the smock. When you get the smock in its original form, there's a second detent ball, which prevents the knife from opening upon actuation of the button. Same goddamn thing here. Now, the action on this is leaves something to be desired. It could just be because it hasn't broken in yet, or it could be a little tight, or it could be that's just the way it is. We've got a stainless steel folded over pocket clip that is in set. That's a good thing. Right hand tip up carry only. Uh, my Carter backspacer with that hidden integrated lanyard post for the weirdos. Ergonomically, feels nice in the hand for sure. No problems there. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, you know? It's 55 bucks. It's a budget knife. But let's, oh, another thing too that they did that they did for us is they gave us titanium collars, pivot collars. That's a nice touch. All right, let's do some comparisons and I'm gonna try to keep it in the budget realm. So let's start out like this. My favorite goddamn uh, overseas knife of the channel. Best goddamn button lock in the game. Premium or budget, I don't care. And that is the CJRB Echo. So the Echo and the Rhinoceros. We're going to call it the goddamn Rhino. The Echo and the Rhino are, oh, wait, Echo's a little bit bigger. Next up, you know about this one. Miguron Mayoro. Mm-mm-mm. Love me some Mayoro. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to be sending these scales out to uh, Hungry Bird, and I've just been fucking around. I will be sending him, though. He's going to do a little something something for me. Uh, but I digress. We can see that the Mayoral is actually about the same size as the Rhino. Let's do a couple more, shall we? Let's kick it on over to Vosti, the Corsair. Man, am I loving that goddamn knife. It, uh, it's a direct competition to the bug out. Yep, I said it. So we can see that the uh, Rhino is a little bit smaller than that. Next up, another knife that I'm fucking loving, really enjoying it, and that is the uh, Petrified Fish Scaler. So the uh, Rhino is smaller than that as well. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. We've got a recent one here coming in from QSP, and that's the Kestrel. You know, I am digging that as well. I felt for a second there that maybe QSP just kind of threw it out there, you know, but no, I, I'm enjoying that. So we can see that the Rhino's a little bit smaller than that. Last but certainly not least, possibly the most uh, popular budget knife in the game right now, and that is the Vision FG. So the Rhino is smaller than that as well. So here we have some more budget dope. You know, not for nothing, Right now is a good time in the uh, EDC knife world for budget knives. You know, they have so many companies who are being very competitive and trying to give us the most for our dollar. Granted, they're all overseas knives, you know. I've yet to find a budget, you know, quote unquote budget American made knife. Uh, I'm sure they're out there. I guess you can say uh, Buck, you know, even uh, Case. They're out there but I don't think that they're pro providing us with what we're getting from these uh, overseas companies. Sad, but true. Let me know what you fuckers think. Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.